Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today is gonna be different, just like every other day. We've got a beautiful North Carolina day here. The weather is about 75 degrees and we're getting set up for our chicken processing. So what we have here is a three bay stainless steel sink and we have a prep table, a stainless steel prep table. And right here in front of me, we have one of those folding tables like you can get from Costco. Tomorrow is the day we're going to harvest our birds our meat birds and they are approximately nine weeks old maybe 10 weeks old we're a little bit late the birds have gotten a little bit big i've got some really cool equipment i want to show you today and i'm going to show you how we get everything all set up and then tomorrow we'll do the chicken processing video so come along today we're going to show you all the equipment and everything we're getting set up and how we're setting up to process our chickens all right stony ridge from stony ridge all right so first things first i want to show you what we already have set up our stainless steel prep table a three bay sink which we're going to fill with ice and that's where our birds are going to go a table for working on or working off of we'll have a couple cutting boards down here so that we can use those to remove the feet and so we can open up the gizzards and clean those out our chickens are right over here we'll walk over and show you them we're going to detail all this equipment here in the next video and maybe a little bit today so we've got a pallet of goodies to show you so we're going to open those up today we've been working with Meyer Hatchery and a company called Coops and more check them out coopsandmore.com there'll be a link down in the video description and we're going to be using a lot of coops and more equipment and a mix of Meyer hatchery equipment we're going to use killing cones we're going to be using scalders pluckers all kinds of fun stuff so guys be sure you watch that video let's go check out the chickens so folks these are our cornish cross meat birds these are the hybrid cornish cross meat birds they're going to dress out somewhere in the neighborhood of eight pounds a piece they've been out here on pasture they're a little bit hungry right now and for today what we're going to feed them is just straight cracked corn okay and the reason we're going to be feeding them straight cracked corn is because this is going to be a whole lot easier to handle when we start dressing the chickens out this will be what's in their gizzard versus a bunch of mushy old mess from that high protein feed that we feed them this is the most awesome feeder and water setup we'll probably do a little something different with water next year these birds know when it's food time they are really really motivated by food let's see here i think i got one's foot they're too lazy at this point to even get up they are huge huge birds and you'll see tomorrow how big they dress out this guy right here what's the matter buddy they're just so big they're just so fat these guys are absolutely 100 percent only motivated by food and water and what's so awesome is that every day they get moved out to a new paddock of grass now i know what you're thinking man those birds look really crowded josh well they're not crowded let me tell you they're grown up they're big it's time it's slaughter time they're not crowded they move around all the time so these birds get more space than any bird you've ever put your mouth on okay unless you're letting them run around out in your yard these birds are getting more space than any bird you've ever had there's 120 square feet in there there are 50 birds and they get moved every day to a new 120 square foot area so if you think about it you multiply that times seven and eight and nine weeks these birds are getting a ton of space and a ton of awesome awesome food all right folks this is the palette of goodies that has come from coops and more now coops and more is not a real sponsor of the channel but they did give me a bit of a price break on this stuff so that i could show it on the channel now i'm going to be honest with you i'm not going to lie to you i'll tell you if it's great i'll tell you if it's crap so we're going to bust it open, check out what we've got. We've got killing cones, we've got a scalding pot, we've got a rack for our killing cones, and we have a plucker. So let's get it open, all right? I'm excited. This appears to be the rack for our cradling killing cones. Yep, going to have to do some assembly on this guy. Heavy, heavy stuff. This stuff is built to last a lifetime right here, guys. Let's open her on up here. Oh yeah, nice. So this is part of the rack that we're gonna be using for processing our birds. Nice powder coated, good stuff. 
I'll spare you the uh, assembly details, but we will get a little bit of a review uh, once we get it assembled and we'll show you everything. And tomorrow we'll really get a review. We'll get to see it all in action. So good stuff. These should be our killing cones, I do believe. Get this opened up. They're a little different than the Meyer Hatchery killing cones. They sent me a couple different sizes here. Let's see. And a cool catalog. All right. So in this box is included the baggies that you put the chickens in. And got to do a little bit of research. Give a shout out to Lumna Acres. He's got a cool video out there on how to do this. And we also got killing cones. These are galvanized killing cones and they just hang up by this hook right here. This is the extra large for like a turkey. And this is, I think this is a large, or this may be a double extra large. This is a large, you can see the difference in the sizes here. Either extra large or double X, extra large or large. And then the next smaller size is this size right here. And I guess that's, probably a medium or a large. I think the one we'll be using the most is the middle sized one. I think that'll pretty much cover any size bird that you're gonna raise on your place, unless you raise a turkey. And then you got these big guys. Cool. Now let me explain to you what these chicken hugging cones do, chicken huggers. Okay, so you take your chicken and you pick him up by his feet and you lay him down in here and his head sticks out the bottom and you dispatch the chicken and let them bleed. You want all the blood out of the meat before you start processing them. These are made of galvanized and they're made right at Wright Farm Products. So an American company making good American stuff. Let's show you the one that came from Meyer Hatchery. It's a little bit different. It's stainless steel. So comparing the two, the stainless steel one that came from Meyer Hatchery, it's a little bit, well, it's more expensive. It's about the same size. Everything's pretty much the same. Uh, it's welded in the back and it's stainless steel, so you know it's gonna last forever and ever. The galvanized one, it's good too. Keep it clean and use it forever. It's not gonna rot. By the time you rot, that'll rot. Al Lumna's right there on the catalog. <laughs> Congrats, Al and the fam. Those guys are good people. If you haven't checked them out, go check them out. There'll be a link right up here to Al Lumna's page. It's called Lumna Acres. Pretty cool. Okay, we got some metal stuff and a lid and whew, a burner. Man, I might be able to make moonshine with this thing. Oh yeah, so this is our scalding pot and pretty cool. Coops and More offers a scalding pot that's powered by 120 volt, I do believe. And I know they provide one that's powered by 240 volt. Most people don't have a dryer plug out off their back porch. so. This one right here is designed to run off a propane tank. And that's what we'll be using tomorrow. Without further ado, this is the scalding unit. This is your eye. There's an eye built in down here. We'll get you some better close-ups tomorrow as we work with this. But you've got a great big scalding pot right here and a thermometer. This is a brand new product that's just now coming out from Coops and More. And in here is a scalding draining pot. So you can put your chicken in here. Drop him down in the warm water, 150 degree water for a few seconds and then come out and pluck him. So we'll get this guy and we'll set him outside in our uh, outside processing area. Now for the bell of the ball here, we're gonna open this big guy up, see what we've got. This is our plucker. This is the thing that's gonna make our lives so, so much easier. We have a small tabletop type plucker down there that we got from Meyer Hatchery. And we'll show you that one too, in case you're on a little bit more of a budget. And I'm not gonna lie guys, this chicken processing equipment is expensive, but it's a one-time purchase. And if you're considering starting your own farm or starting your own setup like this, then it's a one-time purchase that's well worth it in my book. So having the right equipment makes all the difference in the world. Let me get busy here and see if I can skin my knuckles getting this box open. I think it was made by the same guy that invented the Rubik's Cube. I think his name was Rubik. Not to be confused with Rupert. I 
Good gracious. As big as this box is, this thing has to be pre-assembled. I'm about to just hit the box and open it. This may void your warranty. That's American back there. Woo! All right. Get out of here. What a box. <laughs> we can clean up later. <laughs> Thought a bee came out and got me. Ah. <laughs> I've never opened a box like this. But I think I've got it figured out. Ugh. All right, here we are. Plucker. Nice. Ugh, it's got wheels on it. <laughs> Man. Impressive, very impressive. I can't wait to see this thing in action tomorrow. This is a 120 volt machine. It has wheels on the bottom. We'll get you a lot more detail tomorrow. We're gonna go over here and set this up in the area where we want it. And that way we'll be all prepared for early, early in the morning. My dad's gonna come up and help me. So we'll show you the final setup, hopefully in the morning. I'm gonna walk you around everything one more time and then we'll see you back tomorrow. All right, we've got everything put together down here. We're gonna walk you through this whole setup, this whole scenario. It's really, really cool. So let's go from start to finish. Right here is a stainless steel killing cone and this is a Wright Farms product galvanized killing cone or hugging cone is what we're going to call them tomorrow and this one is available from Meyer Hatchery. Down here is where we'll catch all of our hugs from our birds when we dispatch them for our consumption. Right here is our scalding pot and inside the scalding pot there's a thermometer here and there's a little scalding trough that will be filled with water tomorrow. Right here is our plucker. This thing, this apparatus in the bottom here will spin and basically shuck all of the feathers out of this little vent right here in the back. We'll show you all that tomorrow. It's gonna to be quite the messy experience. Now, we have another type of plucker. This is a tabletop type plucker, and I'm not really sure where the feathers will go with this one, but we're gonna try it out and see how it does. This one is from Meyer Hatchery, and this is for more of a budget type plucking operation. Now, here we've got a couple cutting boards, got a couple specialty knives. This is called a pinning knife, and this is for getting the feathers out of the bird's wings. We have a couple pairing knives. This is the killing knife. These are two pairing knives, butcher knife of some sort. Don't, if you're a chef, correct me on these knives. And also an oyster shucker. So I brought the oyster shucker out because it's pretty similar to our pinning knife. So if we've got two people pinning, we can use the oyster shucker. All these are Dexter knives. These are awesome, awesome quality knives. These are our shrink bags, livers and gizzards, all the chickens, and processing out to the freezer in the building. So guys, I hope you had some fun today going through all the stuff that we're gonna use to get started in processing our chickens. It's really interesting to me. Thanks again to Meyer Hatchery for sponsoring all these videos on chickens and also thanks a lot to Coops and More. Coops and More, there'll be a link down below. That's where we got the big plucker and the scalder and most of the killing cones. Don't forget guys, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more stuff like this and I thank you a whole lot for coming and I think you'll enjoy this chicken processing video we're gonna make tomorrow. We'll show you a couple different ways. All right, see you next time. Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet.